Well, there, there really was no other choice but for her to seek employment in some nearby town. Her inquiries led her to Only Saloon. This was an establishment renowned locally for its less than reputable character. Uh, however, the manager, uh, Mr. Beauregard Ridge, offered her employment as well as accommodations in an upstairs room. It's an old story, really. After one month's time, Rowena found that she owed more in room and board than she'd managed to make as a waitress. Rowena fell to her knees, begging for mercy. Unfortunately, um, this is the very position he had imagined her in all along. Where Rowena Oaks had been a plucky little girl, Candy Apple was an enterprising little trollop. Uh, in a house that averaged three whores for every John, Candy soon realized that the financial situation in the house at Chickie's did not allow for any one girl to get ahead. But far from letting this depress her, she was resolved to beat the system. There are those who will swear that poison killed herself. These experts, <clears throat> Yankees, mostly will point to all sorts of evidence, which is not to be trusted. Okay, Nicholas Brody may well have drowned. I am not debating that. But Poison Apple most certainly did not. In fact, she had never felt so alive as she did when she first donned that proud Confederate uniform, when for the first time ever she felt like she was part of something bigger than herself. The, the glorious fight for Southern independence. For us Southerners, patriotism has always trumped all else. Mr. Ridge may have abused her, may have humiliated her, may have stolen her maidenhood and her money, but he was still her countryman, and she would not allow him to die at the hands of a filthy Yankee dog. While she'd worn the uniform of her country, Rowena had had something that she'd long been without, pride. But now, with that glorious garment denied her, Rowena's enthusiasm for life, like like Elton John's candle in the wind, it, it, it sputtered out. <sighs> Miss Harris disappeared into obscurity, never to be heard from again.